Okay, so it's a little bit behind the scenes. I don't know if this is going to go up as a singular video or not, but we'll see. I'm going to be trying to tackle his uh, crank and cam seals. Uh, I'm just going to use my phone on this one because I forgot to bring my camera, so don't judge me. We're going to be using the brand new Galaxy S23 phone. And we're going to see how difficult it is. I'm going to leave a good tutorial video down below that taught me how to do all this. Um, but I'm just going to go clip by clip so you see the process of what I'm going to be doing here. But uh, hopefully we can get that fixed. I got a big road trip coming up, which you guys will find out soon where I'm going. But we got to get the old man fixed up, make sure he's ready to go on the highway, long trips, whatever. And plus it's really annoying since it keeps pissing oil down here on this little cardboard mat. So we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling mainly the plastic stuff. He's a little hot right now because I just moved him in here. So I'm going to let this stuff cool down. I'm just going to start taking the plastic off, this out of the way, the box out of the way, these, and the radiator. I'll wait a little bit on that, make sure it's cooled down enough. And then we'll start draining this, moving the radiator and everything out of the way, moving this out of the way, and then we can start tackling this. I'm probably going to get a new belt because this thing's a little... It's a little bit scuffed up, and this is a brand new belt when I got him. Or, I mean, I, I put the new belt on when I first got him, but it's already starting to get a little bit covered in oil down there. So, I'm going to go ahead and change that anyway. But, let me get started, and uh, we'll walk you guys through the process. So, so far, I just took off the uh, air box. Wow, I'm an idiot. Air filter box thing, that. I, I can't talk today. Took off these brackets to hold the radiator on. It's still a little hot, so I'm still letting them cool down. But this looks like a brand new belt from Napa. Eh, kind of. It's a, I might need to change that while I'm at it. It's a little tough. I mean, it's still got some flexibility, but you could still read the lettering and everything. Um, but I might go ahead and change that because it almost feels like it's plastic. Kind of. It's hard to tell. But it's got still some rubber-ish material to it. I changed all everything. I changed the tensioner belt the first day I got them. That was two years ago. And now the belt's just getting all scratched up and oily again. It's gross. And disgusting. And it's also getting up in here with all my f fresh, like, spark plugs and wires I just put in there. I mean, it's a freaking mess, dude. So we're going to fix all that. <sighs> Might as well. If I can at least stop it or slow down the oil leak, that'd be great. But that's... Ugh. Look at this. Growth. Alrighty, so I just took this thing off. Ew. Gross. This is grody, man. I'm just gonna. <laughs> Gross. So I just took the radiator out. I took all the fluid lines off. Got the airbox out of the way. And now we have access to all this nonsense. I mean, look at that. That is just grody, dude. Like, this belt is not even supposed to be, like, yellow. I, I don't think so. I think it's supposed to be white lettering, you know? But it seems fine. Like, it's not really oily or anything. But you can see how much damage this, these oil seals are just causing. That and all over this. It's just gross. I'm going to take this off now and take the pulley off here, which actually is still pretty good. I might need to clean it up a little bit. Uh, take the pulley off. Um, this pulley I'll, I'll go ahead and take off too so I can get it out of the way so I can get this plastic thing out of here. Um, and I think there's only one, two, three, there's like a couple of bolts holding this plastic thing in. Um, so we'll do that next. Uh, take this off, move this out of the way, get the bolts off of this, and then we should be able to tackle that harmonic balancer and pull that off. Alright, so we made some pretty serious progress here. Finally, on about an hour later, this was a son of a bitch to get off because I had to use a combination, oop, don't lose that, of two different breaker bars. One broke, no pun intended, and I had to use a giant one with a freaking, where'd it go? This with my jack stand handle to get it off, and I got it off. This thing also was a hard thing to get off because I had to use a, uh, this thing, this pry bar to get it off. I mean, what a mess. The bolt's actually pretty clean. I don't know what's going on there. Pretty good, but bleh. What the heck? Gross. Yay.
Anyway, enough of that rant. I did buy one of these little pullers, but it was too short, so I had to wedge it off with the pry bar, and it worked fine. Don't recommend that unless your thing it looks like a piece of doo-doo like this, and then have at it, do whatever you want. But now we're down to this. So now all I gotta do is get this tensioner thing off so that I can loosen this belt. There's a trick to this that you wanna make sure that these are lined up with these little itty bitty nubs. Let me move my finger. You see that little nub up there? Beep! That guy. Make sure this is lined up with this nub. Same thing on the other side. These are lined up with this nub because otherwise your timing's gonna be way off and your car could possibly explode or shoot something out of it that's not supposed to be shot out of it. <sighs> anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and tackle the rest of this, uh, and then we'll get to the part where I reveal the seals. <sighs> okay, so we got the timing belt off, and I got that first seal out just using a little flathead screwdriver. This was a pain in the ass, so I just took the tensioner out of there, and then it just boop, flops back, now I can get the belt on and off. But, to be honest with you, it's not really that bad. But then again, if you look at it, made in Japan. That's been in there since day one of this car. So, might as well play it safe and I'll put a fresh one in there. So that, you know, oil doesn't seek through it. This is actually a bit of a tougher seal here. This one's a little bit loose. But the spring is still good. But as you can see, there's still oil getting out. So that spring is not doing a very good job. So I'm going to go ahead and put the new one in because it's a little bit tougher. So at least it'll hold the oil in there better. Several hours of frustration and rebuilding and reassembling everything in the cart. Up until 5 a.m. Later. Well guys, as you can see, it's 6 in the morning. Don't ask. I fell asleep in the back of Betty after I got all this stuff done, so I just slept in the garage for the night. But more importantly, I got it all done. I just went for a test drive, literally at 5 in the morning, and it runs fine. I think I did a pretty decent job on it. I mean, it doesn't idle weird, it doesn't putter. weird noises actually I went for the test drive and it was pretty smooth I think I might have even fixed a couple of stuff too pretty smooth I think I did a pretty decent job well if I learned anything from this experience Probably nothing, cause I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna do another six a.m. Yes, I'm very tired. Nap time. If you like this video, please like it. I'm and I'll see you guys later. Bye.